Many people celebrate with pork and sauerkraut to welcome the new year. Our New Year's Day tradition has a bit of a twist. Since we don't like sauerkraut, we improvise with the items that we do like, which is a riff on a traditional Hawaiian dish. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to make some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. For returning subscribers, welcome back. Get your pork roast ready to roll, or I guess roast. You can keep the netting on or off when it's in the crock pot depending on your preference. Place the roast in a crock pot that covers it completely with water. Hickory liquid smoke gives a great long roasted over a fire taste. I ended up using the entire bottle for this roast. Turn the crock pot on high and let it go for six hours. When it starts getting to the fork tender stage, it's time to make the rest of the dish. Take one pound of Brussels sprouts and cut off the ends and discard them. Carefully cut each sprout into slices and then fluff them to encourage a shredded appearance. Or if mama ain't got time for that, then go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods and grab some bag shredded Brussels. I don't judge. After those are ready, put one cup of brown rice into a pan of two and a half cups of boiling water. Add your favorite spices. I use some roasted garlic powder and some black pepper, and then allow it to cook until the water is almost absorbed. Fry up a piece of bacon and discard half of the grease and keep it over a medium-low heat. Add the shredded brussels to the pan and toss to coat with the bacon grease. Add cracked black pepper and some smoked salt or your preferred spices to them and allow them to cook for about 10 minutes or until slightly tender. Tear up and add the bacon back into the sprouts and give them a toss. When the water in the rice is almost absorbed, if you want to add some more flavor, add a head of roasted garlic. You can find my tutorial on that in the description box below. Then mix it with the rice and add it to the Brussels sprouts and all of the flavors will meld together. Turn the heat down on low while you tend to the roast. If you cut the netting on the roast, go ahead and cut it off with kitchen shears. Since you won't likely be filming yours, you won't need to do it one-handed like I did. Transfer it to a plate and shred it with two forks. It should practically fall apart. If you have red Hawaiian sea salt, it gives that authentic crunch that you'll find in the islands. Plate your rice and Brussels sprouts, which are basically just small cabbages, and top with the pork. Then you're ready to bring in the New Year sans that stinky kraut. Kahlua pork and cabbage is a staple to the start of our New Year. You can obviously use Napa cabbage or sauerkraut if you're so inclined. If you're in the mood for a luau, this is a great dish to serve so it's versatile any time of year. For the full printable recipe, head on over to mrskringleskitchen.com. Don't forget to like and share the love with your family and friends.